when I look back at my life you know and I could pat myself on the back and say you know what at the age of 24 I was married and at the, the day of my marriage I was a virgin I lived my life dedicated to God you know I lived my life seeking God you know I could pat myself on the back and say I wasn't addicted to this I wasn't addicted to that and everything but in reality if I be very honest I will tell you that one of the reasons that my life turned out and trust me my life wasn't that easy as I just made it seem like but if I would be honest what is the reason half 50 percent of the battles I never had to fight it's because my parents my grandparents and my great grandparents won those battles for me and today those battles they don't exist like they're still there but they don't affect my life as much as they affect somebody who comes from a family where people in the family didn't fight those battles it's not fair why it happens it's not fair but it happens that's how the world works Adam makes a mistake he affects his destiny and then this his destiny he doesn't just disappear and everything everyone starts from the beginning no one starts from the beginning you start where others left off and everything Adam made a mess of got passed on to his kids and his kids instead of fighting with one another they killed one another and then you see the next chapter that those kids they pass on another legacy where we see violence in this world so severe so bad that God says these people are just going nuts this is unbelievably horrible why because that's exactly what happens whether you realize it or not you pass on a dynasty to a next generation that's just how it works when I look at my spiritual roots you know with I heard stories of uh, from my grandma and from my pastor from my parents of uh, distant relatives and descendants who went to jail because they were Christians and they were tortured for Jesus because they were Christians and then they died out of the wounds that were afflicted on them because of following Jesus it makes me appreciate and understand that one of the reasons that God has blessed and protected me it's not because I'm spiritual or perfect but because I'm also somebody's dynasty and while I'm enjoying that there's also other things that I need to fight that maybe they haven't fought with I'm also creating that dynasty for the next generation that is coming after me if you look even amongst us today this is not to point fingers this is not to belittle anybody or make somebody feel like man sucks to be you got born on the wrong side of the tracks this is to make us understand you are gonna leave a legacy because you are living in someone's legacy right now you gotta deal with that and you gotta understand that you know when I look at uh, Brittany and Bryson Stephanie from the family of Stills you know their father who is here Tim and if you, if you would look at their dedication to God you know if you would and I know them a lot closer than most of you if you would look at their commitment to God through thick and thin and you will say wow well, you know where's that commitment they're so, such a committed Christians but if you will look deeper you will you will see that that commitment is not just with them it started with their parents and if you will look deeper you will find out if you knew their grandpa you will find out how committed to Christ grandpa was that in this church he was baptized with the Holy Spirit in this exact building that's where he met God and he encountered God and so guys these things work like this you are in someone's legacy and you are creating someone's legacy right now at the same time and we must understand that our decisions are not just you when you're smoking you're not just having fun you are creating a pace for the next generation when the battle comes with pornography and you say you know what ah, I, I just want to indulge in it and you pass on the battle instead of winning the victory you passing to a next generation a battle you haven't fought God wants us to be a generation who doesn't pass battles to next generation but victories and trophies to next generation and we're gonna be that generation can somebody say amen too many people have grown up being passed on divorce abuse drugs all kinds of you know broken family anger and dad in jail or mama in jail mom and daddy always fighting you know and that is not our fault but at the same time you and I can change that realizing I can deal with my history and I can create brand new destiny for my future and for the future year unborn God promises to Jeroboam and he tells him I will bless your life and right away God says I will bless your dynasty 
God is not just interested in blessing your destiny not just in making your 70 years in this world somewhat okay God wants to bless your dynasty your generation your name and generations that are born can somebody say amen